Listen, this is our first <laughs> podcast for 2024. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome. The one and only Minister Pete K is in the building. He's my podcast co-host for today. Yes. And I'm really, really, really excited about today. Awesome, awesome, man. So glad to just be alive. Come on. God is doing new things. It's the year of takeover. It's the year of takeover. <laughs> we just came out of the year of yes, if you don't know. Yeah. And it's funny, you know, when you look at the year of yes, uh, you didn't know all the stuff we was going to have to go through. Right, 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 right. We just really had to trust God and walk by faith. Yo, <laughs> there's a lot that come with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of challenges. <laughs> so what do you, what do you, what, what's on your mind? What, what are you thinking for, for this year? Like, what are you excited about? Where, yeah. Where's your mind? Where's your headspace? Well, my mindset is I'm just walking and striving to just hold on to all the promises that God has given me and whatever territory God placed me in, I'm looking to be a master and dominate that area, whatever it is, <laughs> whether it's that. ministry, whatever it's business, I'm just open hearted and ready to work. I love what you just said. You said, I'm looking to master yes. whatever area he placed me in, that, mm-hmm. that perseverance. And I was just doing a, a midweek teaching and I was talking about perseverance and what it means to persevere. Mm-hmm. And I don't think a lot of times... Uh, 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 Minister PK, that people don't realize that persevering means taking the limits off of whatever it is you're currently involved in, right? Because right? mm-hmm. it's real easy, I think, to get settled into like looking at your house saying, you know, this is all I can do, right? Or looking at your ministry and saying, this is this is all I can accomplish. But no, there's more. There's more. There's years more. And that's one of the things I, we learned walking with the Lord in 2023 of saying yes, that God is really shaping our character and putting us in position so that as we continue to move into the, how we say, the promised land, yeah. we're mentally, spiritually prepared to literally take over. I love <laughs> the fact that one of the things, you know, God has given me such a great uh, uh, church family. My now family is second to none. I can say that. Amen. I, I ain't hating on nobody. I'm just, telling, <laughs> right, I'm right, just, right. just saying we killing it all right so i love the fact that you know one of the things about you you're you're a dj you're a a recording artist you're a minister of the gospel you're a preacher yeah uh you're entrepreneur uh you got so many other things going on songwriter what you know when you start thinking about i'll I'll give my my little two cents about it but for you when people look at and say hi how y'all how how y'all stay you know pumped about all, <laughs> about all that different stuff. Mm-hmm. How do you stay motivated? What what gives you that takeover spirit? I think one of the key words I've learned and and working and serving here in the ministry at the Now Church is one of the things you've always said to us, have a bigger vision. Mm. And I think that's what the journey of life is all about. When you think that you've accomplished one area of life, God is saying, no, you got to have another, I got another bigger vision for you. Yeah. I think you don't get it too until you start operating with the mentality of the now, Mm -hmm. right? Because if you operate and you can jump in wherever you uh, want to, but I noticed that when I operate from my past successes or whatever, Uh I slow down in my current. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when you start when you start gloating or glorifying in that last tour or that last album or that last movie or that last opportunity, you start beginning to think, well, you know, I did it, you know, so, right. you know, what else should I be doing? But I realize when I live in the now and begin to ask myself that question, what is God doing now? Mm. That puts a get up back in me. Yes. See, we, we serve a God that is so creative and God knows what the world world and those that are lost need. Mm-hmm. So I always believe that God is always working with yeah, us to yeah, to create new ways and new strategies yeah. in order to get the gospel out there and yeah. be relevant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 that is key because there's always somebody that's looking for an answer. Mm-hmm. There's always somebody that's looking for uh, for how to get through this, how to stay motivated, how to overcome depression and how to transition their life to a better spiritual place right. in their walk with God. So let's let, let me let me put you on the spot and then you can put me on the spot. Mm-hmm. So what is what if you would say if I would say let's do the top three. What would be the top three things that 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 people need to be thinking about right now as we are entering this new year? Where should your mind be? What are the top three priorities you would say that causes a person to get motivated so that they can position themselves for the takeover? 
You got it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. The number one thing I would say uh, is have a deeper relationship with the Lord. Get closer to God. Sometimes we fear that we've arrived, and the truth is there's so much levels and so much uh, essence in God that we, the more we get into him, he exposes more of us. Wow. Uh, get next, closer to God. Yes. The closer yes. we get to him, the more he exposes us, uh, uh, exposes who, who we are, are. Who we truly are. Who we truly are. Yes. I, I really like to say sometimes, you know, people say, why did God allow you to go through challenging things? Or why do you, why do you have to sometimes face tough times? Tough Tough times. Sometimes it's so that God can expose us the weaknesses in your life, not mm -hmm. so that you can be condemned by it, but so that you can work on it, fix it, and become a better man or a better leader. Mm -hmm. That's Keep right. going. That's number right. two. The number two thing I would say definitely is God reveals to you the work that He placed in you, which is connected to purpose. Mm -hmm. So there's something here in the earth that God has you're doing, and maybe you've already discovered that purpose. But the truth is, you need to become a master at it. Become a <laughs> become, dominate that area. Become a master at your purpose. Yes. Don't be afraid of it. A lot of people mm -hmm. are afraid. That's what's so unfortunate. You know, being afraid. I was afraid of of the gospel. I was afraid of being in ministry. I was mm. afraid of of being that guy. You know, mm -hmm. and being out front. You know, believe it or not, I used to desire and still do sometimes desire a background seat. Mm -hmm. I really do, man. So you 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 just would not know what that feels. <laughs> like to, <laughs> yes, uh, to every day wake up mm -hmm. and want to be the guy behind the scenes mm -hmm. but forced to be the guy mm -hmm. and for, I'm telling you with my family with everything it's like I want to be the person to be able to walk in sometimes sit in the back mm -hmm. and, and, and receive and then walk out the door and, and yes. you know do my little part whatever that is mm -hmm. but but when you know when there's that call on your life to mm. be out front be impactful in this kind of thing that can be very intimidating, but I remember having to give God my yes in that area and still do having to, having to work with that challenge. Mm -hmm. And, and not only, and, and I feel like, cause you, cause I love what you're talking about with mastering that purpose thing, that theme, because, because we could say yes, right. Mm -hmm. Or we could say, okay, I'm going to do it, but then we can, we can come dragging, mm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we can come not giving it a hundred. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and, and how many of us have done that? You know, I'll get married, but I ain't going, mm -hmm. you know, right. I'll, I'll, I'll accept this job, but mm -hmm. I, I'll accept the position, but I ain't going to really, mm -hmm. you know, wholehearted. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't going to give him what I got. <laughs> I'm not going to sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not takeover. Right. That's not takeover. No. Take, takeover is, is, is really having that kingdom attitude, yeah. you know, and it's not attitude in the negative way, but it's attitude about the righteous thing, godly things. It's about the work of the, ministry and that's one of the things I love about our now ministry is the fact that God is building leaders yeah. you know some of us are, are comfortable being in the stands but God wants you in the game he wants you to Ooh. get involved with what is going on because he cares about the world for God Yo. so loved the world Yo. he's using us to really get involved in the systems and their messaging, their mm -hmm. style, their presentation, and all that's fine. And in some ways you might be right. Some of right. the things they are doing is a little bit too much, whatever the case may be. But the question still becomes, what are you doing? Mm, that's right. You know, what are you doing to impact this generation? What are you doing to reach the young people? What are you doing to bring hope into the world? There are secular songs right now that bring hope to the world, sometimes more than some of the gospel songs. Right. Because mm -hmm. we talk in so much doom and gloom and how we barely uh, didn't make it and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else comes and write a song about we are the world. And, <laughs> <laughs> yep. you know, you got to ask yourself sometimes as believers, you know, what are we doing to shine a light into this world? Yeah. And so I think that's where the mastering of your purpose uh, kicks into play. And another thing about that too is the perfecting of your gift. Mm -hmm. The perfecting of your gift. Taking what God has given you and then multiplying that like right. the 10 talents, the mm -hmm. two talents, the five talents. Becoming a better speaker. Mm -hmm. Becoming a better singer. Becoming mm -hmm. a 
better performer, mm -hmm. becoming a better businessman, and what tools. So, so that's huge in the year of the takeover. Mm -hmm. Is is and that might require taking some courses online. That's right. That might require going to some conferences and you know going to some things where uh, you can get some training and some insight. Yeah, because the key and the results from all of that is really understanding that you'll be able to impact others because we are people impacting Impacting people. people. And I think that's where the evidence and the results you start seeing from your commitment to what God has called you to do. Absolutely. Because it's not going to be just for you, but you're affecting the future. Absolutely. All right. What's your third? What's your third one? Um, my third one would be that one. Really being a person that's impactful. Okay. Making sure that your relationship with God is right. And then after that, working on yourself and becoming a master at it. Mm -hmm. But then after you become a master at what God has placed you, impact the world. Impact it's the time world. time to bring someone else up mm -hmm. teach them what you know what god has given you so that after you leave the path is way more clear for those who are walking in the kingdom hey folks javen here if you've been stuck if you've been procrastinating if you've been feeling like you don't know where your next season your next breakthrough is going to come from i want to challenge you right now i got the answer for you do it now why wait when your best is now my best-selling book I want you to pick it up today. It's going to help you get unstuck and get going with this season of your life because there's so many extraordinary things that are supposed to be taking place right now in your life, but sometimes we just need a little booster. At the end of every chapter, there's a workshop assignment that's gonna help you begin to plan your day, plan your week, plan your year. This is your season of now, this is your season of yes, and it's time for you to do it now. Pick it up today. No matter where you are in life, Do It Now is a must read. Get your copy of Do It Now and get some great nuggets of wisdom by award-winning recording artist, TV host, actor, producer, and author, Javen. Available anywhere books are sold. Why wait for better when your best is next? What was, what was something that you would say that threw you off last year? Like that, oh, that wow. like what was something that made you go, Yo, I don't know. <laughs> Man, well, I, I can't even I can't even think of any now, but right. I, I would say um, I had never really experienced, uh, like you said, uh, being a part of a ministry. working with them it really that was to me the the ultimate thing that really just kind of just slowed me and just made me start to continue to value my brothers and sisters when i see them yeah. in church and sometimes we overlook those things but we're only here for a short period of time and the key thing is loving our brothers and sisters and valuing people yeah that was a definitely a, a hard hit he's talking about my brother we mm -hmm. lost my brother who's associate pastor here at now church young thriving healthy man mm -hmm. uh, Carl, carlton was the best of the best you mm -hmm. know family man a community leader principal and all that kind of stuff and uh just you know we lost him so unexpectedly yeah. I would definitely say that would have been my uh, number one. It was just such a blow yeah. um, that, you know, I did a whole podcast on that and y'all should go check it out. Uh, it, I really dealt with the more the issue of grief mm -hmm. and how to handle it, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do a teaching on this. I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I'm going to do a teaching on this at some point. Um, and it's going to be about Job. Mm. And I can't remember what the title is for that teaching. Oh, yes is the best. Mm -hmm. Yes is the best. So when y'all see that on the channel, go and check that out on the church channel, uh, mm -hmm. our church channel, Now Church FL, uh, youtube.com uh, forward slash Now Church FL. Look for the teaching, uh, yes is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, it will bless your life. It's, it's, it's about Job. I haven't taught it yet. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, when I do, it's coming. It's, coming. it's absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, absolutely. It, it was something uh, uh, that challenged me in ways I never thought I could possibly be challenged. I think that when you, uh, every year, one of the things I do is, is I, I go old school. Mm -hmm. The world call it um, what do you call it? New Year's resolutions. Solution. Yeah, New Year's. So resolutions. I don't I don't necessarily do New Year's resolutions, right. but mm -hmm. I do New Year assignments, mm. right? <laughs> so I have um, I, I usually have five uh, that I th new five five major. New Year assignments, mm -hmm. and I'm proud to say most of the time I get them done. <laughs> you end up getting through all of them. <laughs> <laughs> most, of the, most of the time I do get them, get them done uh, but but you know hey sometimes it is what it is uh -huh. do you do you do stuff like that do you have that um 
No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, okay, I, you know I, that has to change, though, for the year to take over. But I tell you one thing. I always, before the year, I always have a plan as far as I have a manager and I have people in my life, and we're always setting up events and things like that for the next year because okay. a lot of the things that we do is kind of set us aside. So I would say that is something I always, um, but I'm always looking toward to sharpen my skills in any area of life. Your uh, that's that's one of the things I think about. Uh, I always look for ways to sharpen myself mm -hmm. and uh, really kind of just build and see where God wants to take me. Yeah, so yeah. Then, then, well, well, in the year of the takeover, you're yeah. going to have to add. Add, uh, add to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. That's a personal list, yes. by the way. that's mm -hmm. the, So you got, so I got the, the church stuff. What I don't do that necessarily for the church, mm -hmm. but but for me personally, because I think if you don't do that, here's why. Here's what I believe. I, I believe if you don't take care of numero uno first, mm -hmm. you'll, 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 you'll get pushed to the side. You'll, you'll, you will have accomplished all this different and stuff mm -hmm. and then you look back at your life and go what did I do for me right. or what did I get done on my personal uh, list of things to do mm -hmm. and so that helps you make sure you take care of number one because if you can stay in that forward moving position or mm -hmm. accomplishing position the company and the people you work with will also feel that energy from you right and because because you can Trust me, now church does good, right? Mm -hmm. But but that don't necessarily mean I'm doing good, right. you know. I, and I've seen that happen, you know, where the church would be booming and whatnot, but there's a book I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a song sitting over there, there's an mm -hmm. album, you know. And that'll start. That's the stuff that eat at you. Yeah, you get frustrated by your company and all that, but that personal stuff that you didn't get accomplished, mm -hmm. that will get at you. So definitely, I would encourage yeah. you and anybody else out there. Create a list, mm -hmm. you know, and it doesn't, like I said, it's not a lot of, even like three, four things that mm -hmm. you just go, I definitely want to make sure I want to get that home this year. You know, I want to, I, I want to be out of debt this year, just whatever it is, mm -hmm. get those simple things uh, put into place. And I think that kind of stuff goes a long, long ways. There was something else I wanted to say about top of the year. Go ahead. Do you, do you have a vision board? Cause that's one of the things I, I hold on to. I, I have my vision board already set up Dope. and it's so big and the things that I have, I think that kind of keeps me in perspective when I'm looking toward the future and I ask myself, okay, that is uh, so Lord, good. what else can I do in this particular area to increase my income? Um, cause that's what to me, for me personally, is just wow. maximize the things that I've already set in stone of the areas of life that God has placed me in or the, uh, the people that he's connected with me. And one of the secrets I've learned is getting mentors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say this year is yes. one of the things, you know, if we getting closer with you, Pastor. Absolutely. Uh, and just Absolutely. listening and, and, and learning key knowledgeable things. Hold on. You just hit it. Oh, you just <laughs> caused the volcano to go off. You got to stay there for Because this generation don't want mentors. Right. I mean, people just don't want it. And I've never seen nothing like it because I we preached on mentors a lot. In my era, it was the 90s, 80s and 90s, <laughs> right? And in that era, we, we, we wrote about mentorship and, and being a mentor armor bearing and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And, and, and we practice that and I'm definitely a product of that today. Right. Mm -hmm. But we've gotten away from that. Right? right. So talk to talk, tell the, tell the people why from your own experience, mm -hmm. why that has become so important for you. It's like, a, like, like why, why is that a needed thing? It, it, one of the principles I've learned when reading God's word is anytime God would place certain people in authority or in leadership, or if he wanted to choose them, he will always have them subject themselves to mm. someone mm. and subjecting yourself under authority wow. opens doors. And so it's the same thing in the kingdom of God is it's, it's like a principle that doesn't change. So it says <laughs> if, if you can understand that principle in God's word and apply that Jesus. in your life of getting under authority and subjecting yourself, it's like the, the life itself start lining up around you just because you've submitted to authority. So that, that, that's I have what, nothing that's what to I add to that. You just you killed that. I will not say anything else. If you listen to exactly what he just said, you got it. All right, you were saying something. I interrupted you. you I, I can't remember what we were talking but that, about. But to me, that's the he was key asking to me something. I think. Just subjecting yourself up into authority, and I learned that from reading God's word. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and like I said, it's, it's really all about you have to really shift your attitude. That's why I'm a person that's passionate when I'm talking to young people about attitude, mm. because I believe that when you position your attitude, you 
have the right heart and the mindset of where God wants to take you, then he will trust you yeah. to handle the things that he has already placed in you. So it's like you don't really have to search for things. God has placed it in you, but he doesn't reveal it until you actually put your heart in a position to where he can trust you with that. Yo, let me tell you, <laughs> you're hitting a lot of powerful stuff. When you start talking mm-hmm. about attitude, if people really want to know, my, my definition of attitude is your perspective of things, mm-hmm. right? So it doesn't matter how great God is doing something in your life. If you can't perceive it the right way, you're going to still be in trouble. So just remember that if you position your perspective, your Mm -hmm. attitude about what is happening, Mm -hmm. loss of job, a new boo, no boo, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a bad doctor's report, all of that stuff. If you change how you see what you're dealing with, it literally will catapult you into what we call a different altitude. So Mm -hmm. attitude equals altitude and Mm -hmm. it begins to transition. You were talking about a vision board and you asked me, do I do a vision board? I don't do, I think it's so dope people mm-hmm. that do vision boards. I have uh, I have overseen events where we've done vision boards with ministries and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I personally uh, don't do them, but I admire people that do. I think it's mm-hmm. such a great, great, powerful thing uh, to be able to do them. So I don't do vision boards, but one thing I do do and have done for quite a while now is I do assignment lists. You mm-hmm. ready? Every night. Oh, wow. That takes. Ooh, that's a y'all, discipline. Benji. Y'all want to be great. <laughs> y'all want to be. Night. Y'all. Y'all want to kill the game. Say every night. Every, every night. night. <laughs> Yo, you want to. You want to change. You want to change the game. You want to mm-hmm. walk into the year to take over. I'm telling you a little su- secret to success. Mm-hmm. Put yourself on assignment on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. So watch this. The list is not created. This is key. Mm-hmm. The list is not created the morning of. Mm. The list is created the night before. The night before. If you wait till the morning, you, you're, you're not motivated. Mm-hmm. You're, you, you can't see straight. You, you know, you're, 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 you're grabbing for coffee. Think about it. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're rushing. You're trying to brush your teeth. You're mm-hmm. trying to, you know, get whatever mm-hmm. you need. So that's not a time to be sitting there going, okay, what do I need to do today? Mm-hmm. What do I want to get accomplished today? See? Mm-hmm. So at night, you're writing the vision and you're making it plain. <laughs> there must be a power so, in the keep <laughs> going so that when you see it that what the bible yeah, say yeah. for he that so he that sees it will yeah, run yeah yeah and you know what it actually helps you too if somebody comes to you with a new idea and you say you know what that's not what i read last night i can't do that i gotta say no to that because that's not, not today in line. i can get it thursday yeah, yeah, yeah. i can get it friday yeah. but 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 you know or if i get these done then i can mm-hmm. get to you you're controlling your time come and on your discipline in your life that's now <laughs> living so i'm gonna i'm gonna give that to y'all for free i ain't gonna charge y'all <laughs> but that's oh, huge man. in your takeover process, okay. mentorship. Yeah. But then also planning that vision assignment, yeah. rather it's a vision board yeah. or rather it's the assignment list the night before. And yeah, then you check those up. Yeah. I, I do it to where on a notepad, I'm an iPhone person. Mm-hmm. Amen. Glory <laughs> to God. All y'all Android people, we praying for you. But on the notepad, you could do uh, the thing where you could do uh, the circles mm-hmm. and then you can hit it and check off. The different things that are done. I do. I'm, I'm telling you right down. And I'm not even a disciplined person right. like that. Like I'm, I'm not that guy. Mm-hmm. But I promise you in this area, when I made that transition, I saw the manifestation of God. All right. We got to wrap up. We got to close. Any final words? Anything you want to say? I just want to encourage you to, hey, continue to master what God has already given you. Ooh, Remember, God will word. bless you with more if you take care of just a little you got. Ooh. So whatever area of life God has called you, uh, get the knowledge, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Knowledge is information, understanding is comprehending, and wisdom is the ability to apply. (laughs) You just rocked it. (laughs) We love y'all 24. Get ready for more in 24. It's the year of the takeover. Yes. Love y'all.